Razer makes some of my favorite gaming laptops, so I was excited to get my hands on one of the new models announced not too long ago at CES 2024. In this case, it's the 2024 version of the Razer Blade 16, which has long been one of the coolest looking big screen gaming laptops you can buy. Now for the 2024 models, there are two main versions of this laptop. One has a 4K plus 240 Hertz OLED display, and the other has a dual mode mini LED display, and that's the model I'm reviewing here. It's especially interesting because it can instantly switch between that 4K 120 Hertz mode on one side, which is ideal for content creation and detailed design work, and an FHD plus 240 Hertz mode that's tailored for eSports with its lightning fast responsiveness. The model I tested also has an Intel Core i9 14900 HX CPU, 32 gigs of RAM, and an NVIDIA RTX 4080 GPU. Now, Micro Center has a few different configurations available with both RTX 4080 and 4090 GPUs and both the OLED and dual mode mini LED displays, and they range in price from about $35.99 to $46.99. Now, I tested the dual mode mini LED display version and found it to be a great feature for when you're using a laptop for different tasks at different times and different places. For example, the 4K setting is great for when you're plugged in and don't have to worry about the higher resolution draining the battery too quickly. Meanwhile, the FHD mode is gonna give you longer battery life and still look fine for everyday tasks and web surfing, office docs, video streaming. It's also good for more graphically demanding games where you won't wanna run at super high resolutions but you still want fast frame rates and you want to play at the highest detail settings possible. Single player and slower paced games are going to benefit from the higher resolution mode, which is still hitting 120 hertz, while fast paced competitive gamers are going to want the faster 240 hertz speed in the other mode. Design-wise, Razer has some of the tightest, most streamlined designs in gaming laptops, and these can easily do double duty as a sophisticated work laptop as well. The big touchpad feels a lot like the big ones on MacBook Pro laptops, and the keyboard is backlit with Razer's Chroma lights, offering per-key multicolored lighting in a wide range of preset patterns, or it can be customized any way you like. And then Chroma laptops, keyboards, mice, and other Razer accessories all work together, including with some lights from Nanoleaf, Govi, and some other smart lighting brands. I also like that it offers a pretty wide range of ports, including three USB-A, HDMI out, USB-C and Thunderbolt, and even a full-size SD card reader. Of course, a gaming laptop is best judged by doing some gaming. So it was perfect timing that the current hot game of the moment, Helldivers 2 and this Razer Blade 16 both arrived at about the same time. I did my part spreading managed democracy throughout the galaxy and mostly played on high and ultra detail settings. In 4K, I managed about 60 plus frames per second normally, while in the FHD screen mode, it was well over 100 FPS, usually in the 110 plus range. Running our standard benchmarks, you're gonna see performance in both 3 Mark and Geekbench and other tests in our full review. And of course, you're gonna see how it stacks up against uh, other gaming laptops and other gaming desktops. So for a laptop that can do double duty as both a gaming powerhouse and a big screen professional and creative laptop that's not gonna look out of place in an office or a conference room, well, the Razer Blade line remains one of my favorites.